Travelista sister out there. Nandito na naman ako, your co-travelista host. I'm Catherine or Keith. You can call me your guest co-travelista for today. Yes. Welcome, Travelista co-host Kate. Actually, she is my aunt, Kate. <laughs> Parang hindi na lang ako ano dito ang guest. <laughs> Napapadala siya at ang pagdaan ko in your vlog show. Please. Yes! Siyempre, as we know everyone, everything na my Travelista sister is now in UK. So I need somebody to take her place yeah. for the meantime. So welcome nga pala sa Ami House. <laughs> Humble home. So today, our topic for today is that since we love traveling, but we're going to discuss to you about how to get a tourist visa in Japan! One of our most favorite places, really, Japan. Yes, I spent everything. I love the place, the food, I love the food, the food. The I people. love the people, I love their cleanliness. Oh my god, yeah. I really Do love it. Doon lang ako nakakita ng basurahan na, you know, the garbage uh, bin, you cannot find it in the street or anywhere outside in the public places. You, you can find one bin in a bathroom or a restroom, but it's a bin for, I think only one paper can fill that bin. Really, they are very well disciplined and I really um, I am really amazed and bow down with their cleanliness. Sobra. The, even the streets, their comfort room, wherever you go, it's so clean. Kahit dun na sa countryside banda. Because we went there also in the countryside of Japan. There is a uh, public comfort room. When I went there, oh my gosh, I was really amazed because it's really clean. Ako naman, really, I bow down to their discipline. Doon na ako nakakita ng mga taong, even you are strangers, they are really so hospitable to you. And yung discipline talaga that they fall in line, they follow rules, at higit sa daat, the, their way of segregating their waste. Really, talagang sumusunod talaga sa batas. And that's why Maybe it really shown that that's why Japan is one of the most influential country in the world. Yes, and we're I so blessed with to that. see that one. To saw that one pala. <laughs> <laughs> so now, we will ask what she said earlier that we are going to talk about on how to apply uh, Japan Visit Visa here in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. So my... Travelista co-host Ate Kate. Ano bang mga process? At what are the steps we did ba when we applied before? You know, uh, as far as I remember, when we went there last uh, 2018. Yes, um, March. Right? Yeah, it's a summer turning to spring. Spring. For the cherry um, blossom. Or uh, it's a spring day and it's a cherry blossom day. Yun talaga tal talagang sinadya namin to go there on that season because we it's really part of my bucket list to see a cherry blossom. Because Japan uh, is known for cherry blossom. Yeah, the sakura. Mm -hmm. Sakura. And also to taste their wonderful food, to see their wonderful culture, and also to makita yung mga highlights ng Japan, like the Tokyo Tower, the One Piece, the uh, Hachiko, and most of all, the beautiful mountain, Mount Fuji! <laughs> so, talagang, we really did enjoy during our visit there. For uh, getting a tourist visa for Japan, lalo na if you are an OFW here in Saudi Arabia, where we are residing, talagang, I can say, Japan is one of the yung makakuha ka ng visa napakadali. As long as you follow the rules, as long as you follow the requirements. 
they have set requirements, pero napaka-easy because you don't have to apply online. All you have to do is to print out the application form and you can write it to your handwritten. I don't know if this is updated one, but recently, just 2018, uh, we're just doing printing out and we're mano-mano ang pagkakasulat because I think they, they are still not yet into the online appointment world like that. So, yun lang. Uh, you have to fill that one. Then, after that, so, in order mm -hmm. to get the application form, just look at the description box. Yeah. We will write there so it's easy for you to access where to download the application form of applying a visa in Japan. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to screening your application, dun sila nagiging strict. You know how? Uh, they will really look on your intention, knowing that Japan is one of the is part of the first world country or what they call the uh, those seven countries na GCs. What they call it? Uh, like a that once you belong with it, you are part of the first world. Country. So, isa ang Japan doon. So, when they are screening your application, you should be honest. And number two, you should have the and sufficient funds to supply your trip. Number three, you have also itinerary on where you will go. But it can be your own itinerary. For us, we just made our own itinerary because we, we don't like to miss any days na wala kaming ginagawa because our time in Japan is only limited. So, we have to make most of it na madalo talaga yung mga scenery na napaka-importante. And number four is that you should be uh, currently working. You should have your COE. If you're working, if you're dependent to your husband, you should uh, make sure that your husband has enough funds in the bank account to show that he or he can really uh, pay for your uh, expenses on that trip. And what else can you add about it? Uh, you need, of course, the basic requirement, the insurance certificate. Yes, you need that also. Uh, the Ikama translation. I think all the travel, all traveling outside the Saudi Arabia or anywhere in the world, you have to have your travel insurance mm -hmm. to make sure that whatever happens to you during your travel, you are insured. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the usual, the Ikama translation, because they need uh, all documents submitted, translated to English. Yes. So, I'm going to talk to you about our experience mm -hmm. and how we apply. For us, we decided to have a two weeks vacation, a total 14 days. So on that 14 days, uh, we book everything here in Jordan, but we don't have any agency that will give us those 14 trips. So based on the reviews we have searched in the internet, kasi online world na ngayon, uh, we saw most of the trips in the Japan is offered by Expedia. Yeah, Expedia. So, lahat ng gusto namin, nandun lahat sa Expedia. And Expedia is really a trustworthy yes. online, uh, what, do you, what do you call this one? Online engine. Mm -hmm. Engine, yeah, search engine. It's really legit good. na legit na legit. Legit ang Expedia because it's originated in the United States. And really, they have this, uh, what you call this one, uh, company also that affiliated to them. So, how many trips we've been to with Expedia and so far, our experience is really good. Yes. So, most of our travels, most of the itinerary that we want in Japan, we found it there. Kaya naman, we book everything through Expedia. Kinuha namin siya lahat. Expedia. Uh, regarding naman sa hotel, we search a hotel that is really uh, what do you, do you call this one? Near to the station. Kasi ang Japan, uh, ano ba ito masasabi mo dyan? Yung parang ano lang siya, uh, sa Bisaya pa, lusot-lusot. What do you call that one? Uh, like a, 
connected. connected. All the train stations, they are interconnected. Mm -hmm. So, it's very easy. Once you have the map, once you know your station, it's very easy to travel to Japan. And Japanese people are so kind. Okay, so you can good. trust them, you can ask them, and they will never fool you. Yeah. Even you have this, what you call the language barrier, it won't matter. Because they will really accompany you so that you can understand. Even all the expression, they, they will go into express for you, just for you to understand. That's why I admire their attitude, really. So, let's go back with this regard to our trip. So, for the 14 days, we search in the Expedia. We we only have, I think, out of the 14 days, a three days, free day, which we went to another town, Akita. Akita. All our airlines, our flight details, we booked it in PAL. PAL. Yes, and Philippine Airlines. Philippine Airlines, yeah. So, when we went there, April 14, if I can, if I'm right, April 14, everything is set now. Everything is booked. What we have bring is ourselves, our pocket money, and our luggages. That's all. Then everything is so set. So we have to enjoy everything. Uh, Japan naman, uh, as long as you have the visa approved to you, uh, all you have to think na lang is your pocket money. Kasi medyo expensive ang Japan. Yes. And as a Filipino, I have learned that uh, so it will be easy for you to convert their money. You just make it times two. In Philippine, uh, in Philippine money. money. Philippine pesos. Example, 300 yen. So if we if we balance to 600, 600 pesos. pesos, like that, so that you will not you will not have any confusion mm -hmm. on how much it's that really something is cost. But really, it's one of the expensive then. Pero worth it naman kasi they are really beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, you have your detailed itinerary. We book it to Expedia. Expedia, just look at the link mm -hmm. in the yeah. description box. Yes. Then after that, uh, our ticket, we book it to PAL, Philippine Airlines, round trip ticket. Mm -hmm. Then we book another domestic flight, uh, ANA, mm -hmm. ANA Airways, when we went to Akita, another time. And also, we book uh, transportations. Like most of our itinerary, we have we chose the one with a round trip transportation. So every day we have a driver who will pick us up from the hotel lobby, and then at the end of the tour, we'll also drop out us in the hotel. So it's really so convenient, guys. For us, it's convenient rather than I know commuting, like, commuting by yourself yeah. yeah though the experience of commuting is more fun, fun and but if you have a baby it's also a um, less cost oh. if you're commuting commuting by yourself mm -hmm. but I don't um, suggest it I don't recommend because it will just add stress to you especially when you are lost already and uh, you have a baby, you have a, um, your parents is with you, you know, you don't know what will happen on the way. But if, example, if you are only by yourself, maybe it's a good uh, experience to make on your own, to try everything. So if ever you are lost, you, you will just blame yourself because you're only the one <laughs> following it. Yeah. And like if you are a group, you are thinking of others also. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, we all our trips, Expedia guys, we did food already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we, we will we will start our trip 8, uh, 8 in the morning, then we ended up 6 in the evening. Lunch is included in all our trip. Kaya naman, uh, we are given a chance talaga na matikman. Even yes. the high class because it's a buffet. It's a buffet. All kind of ano talaga food we have tasted in your Japan. Because minsan kalam po kung sa bansang yon, so you have to grab the best. Yes. Right. I so, agree. 
so after that one, you have your detailed, your ticket, then you have your ikama translation, you have your COE, bank statement for the last, for us, we prepared six months. Mm -hmm. I remember six months. That is months. the maximum. Six months bank statement. Then, of course, your picture. Just go to any photography house, then just tell it for Japan visa. Then they will go into, I, I remember to buy two also. The picture or, I'm not sure, but uh, just go to the photography house, then they will just tell you that this is the photo that you have to submit. Because it will be manual. It's like you're submitting a bio data, mm -hmm. like that. So, appointment. Actually, we didn't book appointment. Uh, we we did walk in. We went to the consulate uh, embassy of Japan near Suleiman Pake. Yes. Yeah, near Suleiman Pake, at the back of the Suleiman Pake. So we went walk in there. The time I can remember, 10 a.m. Yes. I think around like that. like that. So walk in, and luckily there's not too much. So we were entertained. Uh, madali tayong na entertain agad. And then when we submit, he check all the requirements. Then once complete requirements, he will give you a receipt. Mm -hmm. But we didn't pay anything. It's for free. Free. It's for free, guys. The Japan visa, unlike Europe, US, you have to pay for the appointment. Mm -hmm. You have to pay for, for the job. visa. For the application. For the application. There's a lot of payment. But for Japan, it's free, guys. Free. So, when hearing that free, I, I'm not sure if only for Filipinos or for Asian people, but I saw other also there. They are paying. Yes. They are paying, but for Filipinos, no, they did not ask us anything to pay. That's why we asked again um, when the immigration officer there told us it's free. We are shocked and we're we asked again, it's really it's true, it's free. Oh, <laughs> because maybe they they will not process our papers since because, they didn't pay. Because but in the website there was a application fee written. Yeah, but when we went there, nothing. Even single halala ria we didn't pay. So the waiting time when we submit on that day was quite long compared to the Shenzhen to the UK which will take only two days. For Japan, uh, they give us one week before we took back our passport. And they will not tell you if you're approved or not. Depends on, on the time when you get your passport. That will be the time when you saw your visa. Then when we got our passport, ta -da! This, there's a visa on it. So we're so excited that we went to Japan. Yes. Yeah, so we're granted a tourist visa, uh, single entry to the Japan, and we enjoy it really 14 days. So, ganun lang guys. So, what, as long as nandito kayo sa Saudi, you have to grab the opportunity of traveling uh, in sa karating na bansa because it, I feel like it's more easy to yes. travel here, like money-wise, since you are OFW, you're working, so you have the income, you can compensate with the funds that you will be needing. And also, uh, if here, since abroad ka na, so parang ang dating when you apply for a visa, parang advantage Advantage, na oh, advantage na siya because abroad ka na eh. You are a resident in other country. It's an advantage also. And what else? Uh, it's very nice and it's like a uh, medicine to feel that when you travel you see a lot of beautiful places. It makes you feel like you are relieved from the stress of the world. Like that. Like our family we really love traveling and it's really part of our uh, what is this one? Uh, it's part of like hobbies like that. It's our leisure. Uh, leisure traveling. traveling. So like that. So what else we be do need? I think only that one. Yes. And I think Japan is the easiest way <laughs> to apply for our first world country. Yes. 
once you went to Japan, it's a big factor when you apply for US visa, for Shenzhen visa, because uh, they have this, they are using the same system. Yes. Uh, so they will find out that uh, you, this, you, this family is really traveling. So it's more on an, an advantage for you to get approved in whatever visa you're going to apply. But regarding the planned itinerary, we just want to, to clarify that our planned itinerary is confirmed, guys. Okay? Yeah, we paid confirmed. already. Confirmed plane tickets, confirmed hotel accommodations, mm -hmm. and confirmed activities. Everything is confirmed. Already okay. paid. 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 paid siya, guys. So, even the Consulate of Japan will check, we already reserved. Mm -hmm. Kaya naman, uh, you will really a little bit take a risk. Yes. Risk. But if you do all these requirements, but, I'm sure 100% but this type, you will really go. For me, Japan, the type of risk is not really big. Because as what we have said, it's the easiest way to apply for a first world country. Mm. It's the easiest. Because and aside of, pa. Yes, there's no payment, oh. diba? It's a big no, factor already. Yeah. As long as uh, the important thing is as long as you will really prove to them that your main reason is only tourism, there's no any point or any way that they will not uh, approve your applications. They will not really deny you because really your intention is only to visit the people. Just place. secure your bank account. Okay guys, so regarding the bank account, how much does it cost? Uh, for us, uh, what we are always trying to do is that we make sure that we really have money. So the, the money, how the much money, is it? The money, I think there's no really uh, amount that it it would really show as long as your salary for the last three months, our technique is not, we're not touching it, right? That's the technique that we are doing. So no matter how much your salary, as long as it, own, it shows that your what is this one you're not touching any of it you are saving it so it means you have a uh, savings that you are using to compensate for your needs for the last three months or six months so it only shows that uh your salary is enough to compensate whatever issue that you're going to make so for the salary maybe uh more than five thousand Right, more than five thousand. Because if two thousand, if below five thousand, maybe they would question. If below five thousand, uh, ang limit, maybe they will ask if it's not enough to compensate. Knowing Japan is expensive. So, so are you telling that if your salary is below five thousand, there is a big chance of being refused in visa application? I'm not saying like that. What I'm trying to say is that if yours, if your salary below five thousand, uh, you should have more ample time of preparation. Like you, you will not touch your salary for five, say, months. five months, six months. Unlike if you are more than five thousand, you can readily apply. It. Lalo na siguro pang ten thousand ang salary mo. Guys, we're talking about reals, ha? Yes. not pesos. Saudi reals. Saudi reals. Because we're here in Jeddah. Uh, Saudi reals, guys. So, if example, 10,000 ang uh, salary mo, maybe in just one month, you can apply na. It's enough for you kung ikaw lang naman mag-isa. Like that, and you have paid everything na. So, maybe if you have less salary, don't do so. Uh, just have more ample. So the average money that they need just to show that you have the capability is around fifteen thousand. Yeah, more than ten thousand. For each have, person, you should have. You should have more than ten thousand. More than ten thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think that's all. Do you yeah. have something to add? Yeah. So uh, what I would like to say is that uh, traveling actually is not that big. Uh, really. If you, it's really your passion, because uh, para lang kayo nagpo-collecta ng like yung mga, uh, ano tawag nito, memories. yung mga memories. Collecting memories at the same time, uh, don't think about the
the money, the money you can find it. But when you travel, it's something different that you can only feel. The because experience. You, the experience really. is different. Kaya nga, when, hindi, hindi uh, mananako ang experience. When I travel and compare in reading to the books, and when I saw uh, the actual picture of that, of that, the one that I'm reading, it's really different. The feelings, you would really feel. And then, the more country you went, the more you compared it to each culture, each discipline, each attitude, you can compare it. And it's really easy for you to adopt also if you are always traveling. Yeah. It's about living the culture, living the culture of others that uh, you want to experience. So it's more on about experience and collecting memories. Yes. And most of all, it's part of your passion. You should really love. You should really have the love to travel. Because you will really have this effort. Yes, of Sa course. Pa lang, yes. It's all effort, guys. Traveling is very nice. But during traveling, you need to walk a lot. Yes. So if you don't love traveling, you will not really enjoy. Kasi sa paglalakad walking. pa lang, like every day, you are walking, 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 walking. Because you are discovering the, the tourist spot. You need to walk, you need to explore, and not to stay in your hotel. So yeah. kung hindi ka mahilig mag-travel na tao, First day pa lang, ayaw mo na. You won't appreciate it, even though it is very beautiful. Yes, it's really true. So I think that's all. So guys, uh, I'm I'm wishing you that you could also travel Japan and see its beauty. Yes. The land of the rising sun. Yes, I hope this video will help you in the time if you will apply a Japan visit visa. So guys, if you have any questions, yes. just comment below and we will try our best to answer all your queries and questions, guys. Yes. And guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, mga kakrabilista. Thank Bye -bye. you for watching. Bye! Bye.